September is National Childhood Obesity Awareness Month, and groups around the country are planning educational events to encourage kids to get moving and stay healthy. Joining me this morning is Jim Clark, licensed social worker and CEO of Daniel, to talk more about the obesity trends in children and how parents can help their kids make make better choices. Yeah. First, let's just talk about identifying whether or not your child is is just a little overweight or, right, right. or obese. There is a scientific method, it's called BMI, and most pediatricians will measure their children. A child who's between eight to 85 BMI, which is body mass index, and that relates to their height and their weight, uh, that's normal. Uh, 85 to 94 is considered overweight and anything over 95 is considered obese and we really have a serious problem in our community as you and I were mentioning particularly it's one in at our every three one out of three children are overweight or obese, and particularly in the uh, minority communities, Hispanic and African Americans, that jumps up to 40%, and it is a big problem. We know that in the year 2000, children who are born in the year 2000 and, and um, later, the likelihood of them being obese and the kind of problems that they're having is really significant, and we see uh, it being a really cost issue for the health care of our country. Yeah, let's talk about those those issues that uh, obese children face. Mm, yeah. um, and, and this starts generally young. You have to start healthy healthy eating at a young age. But what can happen over time? Well, again, uh, children who are born 2000 and after, they're really predicting that those children will probably have diabetes. And there are sleep apnea. There are... Uh, um, in addition to self-image issues, yeah. there are a lot of other health problems too. High blood pressure being one. And so those are really significant issues. And I think, as I mentioned to you, $117 billion a year is related to some of the obesity issues that are happening. And we really need to do something different in our country, particularly with our children, to start to change this trend. Yeah, there's a, been a lot of attention on this topic. Uh, what can parents... Do you you've got a son or a daughter who just loves to eat? <laughs> right. what, what can you do to kind of curb the appetite? Well, in our country, unfortunately, we've gotten to the point of everything's got to be supersized, yeah. and so we've got to start thinking about that sort of thing. So one of the things you need to do is control their their portion size. Watch kind of what kind of things that they eat, not only at the at McDonald's or at the stores, but also at home. Watch your portion size. The other thing to do is control snacking. Um, it used to be that you have a snack a day. Well, now we find children have, uh, particularly under the age of five, have up to six stacks of snacks a day. Well, that puts over 200 uh, calories a day uh, to a child's diet, which is really significant. Drink water. I mean, all of us. If you want to lose weight, one of the best ways, and uh, you see, I brought my water today, is to drink water. These sugary snacks, these, um, not only do they have caffeine, but they have a lot of unnecessary calories. Mm -hmm. So watch the kind of things that children are, are drinking. And of course, just move. Do things. Go for those family walks. Um, limit. One of the biggest things, too, folks, is limit their screen time. By that, how much time they're on their computer, how much time they're on, they're watching TV, how much time they're on their phone. Oh, uh, yeah, which you know, is a lot of time. We find that children now have almost eight hours of day of screen time, and that just means that they're inactive. So parents, you can get your children, get them involved in sports, take those family walks, do those type of activities. That's a way to get those calories counted. All right. Thanks so much for joining us this morning, Jim Clark. Thank you. We'll be right back.